All right, it's one of those times again. Fucking story time. <laughs> um, back in 2000, I think 2002, 2003. Fuck, I don't even remember. It's somewhere around there. Um, I used to work at a place called um, BT Boomers. It was in Naples, Florida. The restaurant's been gone. The fucking, the guy that owned the place is fucking Rick. <laughs> that sorry shithead. He ended up fucking losing over dumb shit. But anyway, I was working there and I was one of the um, line cooks. And now mind you, there's four of us. You got one on the grill, one on the fryer, one on the, um, the next station where you put everything together. And then you got one at the end, which is at the window, where you put all the food up for the waitresses and waiters and shit. Well, I was the fucking fryer. And he, I guess we're kind of buddies. He was the boss. So this motherfucker was being an asshole to all fucking three of us. I mean, he was just being a fucking dick. He was having problems. His fucking old lady, he was, him and his old lady was getting a fucking divorce. She was hot, man. Goddamn. But she's fucking crazy. Right up scale with his ass crazy. So he gets the fucking catch an attitude. Everybody fucking run off at the mouth and he's Puerto Rican. So when he got fucking, he gets pissed. He's got a fucking temper. Them fucking Puerto Ricans got a temper from hell. And this motherfucker cussing in English, Spanish, all kind of dumb shit. And he's fucking mad. And I said, all right, motherfucker, I'm going to fix your ass. And he was handing out the food fucked up. Giving it to the wrong people and blaming it on me. I said, all right, motherfucker, I got you. This went on for a couple days. About three days. I said, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to fix your fucking ass. Now, mind you, <laughs> the shit I did went to the point we almost, both of us almost got fired. Because <laughs> uh, Rick was mad. So, I waited till fucking, it was um football Sunday. I said, all right, I'm going to fix your fucking ass. And um me and my other two buddies, the one on the fucking um, fryer, or on the fryer, but the one on the grill, and the one that was in front of me putting all the shit together. To hand it to the guy for the window. So this asshole. Now mind you. He was the boss of us. He'd go walk off. Get stoned. Whatever the fuck he would do. And just stay gone for fucking 20-30 minutes at a time. But come back get mad at us when shit's fucked up. I said alright dude. I got your ass. So I take in my other two buddies. I take the orders. I say give me all the fucking tickets. Give me every one of the fucking tickets. I'll hand the food up personally. So I would take the food. <laughs> and I would put it on the opposite ends of this fucking window. I mean, you got a window, it's four foot. So it's a four foot stretch. It's four foot wide and it's three foot deep. So from the back here forward, there's three foot for all this food. Now, mind you, it's football Sunday and it's about one o'clock. Football game's been going on for a while and this place is fucking packed. I mean, every seat in this motherfucker is packed. Packed the fuck out. And I've got all these fucking orders on my hands. It's fucking 25 orders. I had 25 tickets in my fucking hand. So I took all the fucking orders. And I just started putting them in the window. And mixing them up. I mean, I, just, I had them motherfuckers three high. Four high. I had that shit stacked. And I, I took all the fucking tickets. And I just threw them up there and scattered them. And walked off. <laughs> he come back. And they just chewed him a new fucking ass. He got in so much goddamn trouble, and he come at me and started blah, 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 running off at the mouth. I said, all right, man, I got your ass. So I did it about three times that day. He backed off a little bit, and about a day or so later, he started that shit again. I said, all right, motherfucker, I'm going to get you again. So he gets to babble and babble and start fucking being an asshole. I said, all right, let's do this. Now, um, we have a bucket. There was two buckets. One bucket was full of pickles. One was full of celery. It's what you put on the um, the plates for the wings. The wings would get the celery, and all the sandwiches got pickles. So this motherfucker went back to run off at the mouth again. I said, all right. So I waited till we got busy, and he walks off. This was probably about 4 or 5 o'clock, dinner rush. So again, we're packed out like a motherfucker. I said, all right. So I did that shit again. I loaded that motherfucking window up again, but this time... I put a little icing on the cake. Those two buckets, I filled them bitches full of fucking shredded lettuce. <laughs> so he had to go through the goddamn lettuce to get the fucking pickles. <laughs> now, I know you say cross contaminated, blah, blah, blah. There wasn't nothing wrong with the lettuce because it was clean. It was fresh and washed. I made sure I didn't contaminate nobody's food. <laughs> but I didn't put the lettuce in that motherfucker. 
and I fill that bitch up. Because the buckets are usually about that time of the week. They're about half full, maybe three quarter. So I literally took a fresh bag because they came in a plastic bag that's um, airtight. And I took the entire fucking bag and stuck it in each bucket and walked off. So the next thing I know, the fucking, the owner of the motherfucking place, Rick, comes up. He said, come here. And he told the other guy, get the fuck over here. <laughs> he said, if you two motherfuckers don't fix this fucking problem, I'm firing you both at the end of the night. <laughs> so needless to say, that's the last time that asshole started shit. Because he knew I wasn't going to fucking stop. I was going to keep going and going like the fucking Energizer's a bunny. Go until it's done. Ha, 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 ha.